So what exactly have I just broken into? Look at this. Well, this is Tectonica. And it starts you off in here, if you go up the stairs quickly. And when you're here, like you've come out of this pod or whatever, and you make your way down the stairs, it tells you to go to this terminal. You see all this stuff happening. And then you grab some bits out of the emergency supplies. You grab a, a pick or whatever from there. Start hitting your way through the wall, and you just come into this really vibrant, colourful area. So I think what we're going to do is make our way down. I can start gathering plant matter. So I've got to open the crafting menu, but it said for some of the chests. Are there chests? I can't do anything with that. Place a mining drill. So let's have a look at this. Mining drills. We've got logistics, base building. Intermediate raw materials and stuff. Equipment, a pickaxe. So we need to supply and repair the production terminal with iron ore and copper ore. We need to build and place a mining drill at a nearby iron vein or copper vein. So I need to place one here. So if I go to crafting, go to production, craft one of those, and there we go. We've got a little mining drill. So it says left click to place the mining drill. So here we go. Where do I... I don't know where to place it. It's got input output. Uh, it says they can do it both ways. I'm just going to plonk it here and hope for the best. So oh, I need to gather plant matter. I actually have 85. How do I know if that's working? Oh, wait, it is mining. Can I grab that out? I can. Look at that. I've got nine iron ore. So that just builds up on its own. I'm guessing we can do conveyor belts. It's kind of like a... I'm, I'm going to say it's a DRG. It's a Deep Rock Galactic slash like Satisfactory. Unless I've got that completely wrong. But let's go and grab some more plant matter. There is so much of this stuff. I don't think I can grab it all. Uh, it's stacks of 500. And we've got 885. Let me stick the 385 in here. It's not running out. Like we've got 400. We've got plenty in there. And let me grab the iron stuff out. Can I not stack it? I can. And there we go. We have copper ore as well. So what do we need to fix the uh, thing up? I'm so glad there's a, like a lot of plant matter around here. Oh, we need 15 of each. That should be nice and easy. And there we go. We've officially, after grabbing that copper, we've got enough. So if I put that stuff in there and that stuff in there, repair it. Tier unlock. New text available. Oh, give me some automation early on. Sign me up for it. Upgrade the terminal. Oh, no. I need iron and copper ingots. Scan machine fragments. Oh, it gets rid of them and you get... Oh, you get the parts for it. Oh, sign me up. I'll take a light stick. Oh, that is cool. And there was another mining drill over here. But I'm guessing I'm going to have to go and explore. Because that's not going to give me enough iron and copper ingots. It says build and place three mining drills to enable automated extraction of ore. What are these? Oh, smelters. That's what I needed to do. I've unlocked the smelter. Okay, but it says that I've got to do another drill. So it says craft and place seven research cores. But I can only do five. I need uh, copper wire and mechanical components. Oh, I found... Whatever these are, are, they research cores? Oh, I found some copper wire. I should have enough to do it now. Are these? I can't scan them. They're actually growing stuff on top. Okay, so now, oh, there's more chests. We've got frames and stuff in here. Lots and lots of stuff for us to take. So I can make 22 of these. I need to make seven. Oh, I should have left myself some room. There we go. That'll do. Can I climb up now? No, let me climb up. So we go to the tech tree now. Smelter hold to activate. So I can make nine of them. However, I'm going to make two. Because that way I can smelt the copper and the iron. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half the fuel. And then if I just chuck 
the whole stack in there. So now if I do all of that in there, and I also do all of the copper ore, we've got ingots smelting. Oh, this is really good. Now all I've got to do is wait until 20 of these have been produced, and then we can go and upgrade our terminal. I'm hoping at some point very soon we get some conveyor belts to start automating the process a little bit. Last one coming up. And there we go. So now we come back over to the terminal, interact with it, place those in, place those in, and upgrade. New techs available, tier unlocked. So in order to upgrade again, we need 30 iron ingots, uh, 30 copper, 45 conveyor belts, 4 inserters and 2 containers. But it does mention conveyor belts. So let's have a look. Inserter... I'm guessing I absolutely need that. So is my idea going to work? Oh, I think it is. I think we get automation. Oh, there's no way. It automatically bends round. So what I've done is... I've made another inserter. And what I'm going to do is try it like this. To see, can we... Link them on. Oh, we can. Oh, that is smart. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Why is that not curving round? No, that's put it at level up. Oh, no, how do I get rid of it? No! I fixed it. I just had to deconstruct. And in order to do that, you hide the toolbar. You look at an object and you press F and it goes to a raise mode. So is that working now? Why is that not feeding more stuff in? Okay, I'm a little bit confused. They do say, like, it's a game preview on uh, Game Pass. So not everything's going to work properly. But these are moving now and stocking this up. I just expanded it. Like, basically, you've got stuff coming out of this drill, goes onto this belt, comes through this splitter, comes all the way along into this splitter now. Because for some reason it wasn't working when there was one belt. I, it might be because you need two ores for every ingot. You'll see that went from four down to two. So it might be that you have to feed both at the same time. But I've, I've made a, a horrible looking splitter and we've sorted that out. So now we have a non-stop production of ingots because... I also put some uh, inserters round the back into here. And we currently have 55 uh, iron ingots. So I need to do the same thing with copper. But it looks as though this machine stopped. And it did because I had maxed out the uh, the ore. So yeah, I need, to, I need to automate that. But then at the same time, from this side here, I want to go gather as much plant matter as I can. Get a container with an output feed the plant matter directly from the container into here so that this keeps going and then get the ore out of there like basically automate this whole system because even though a couple of these are bugged this is still working you can see the machines picking up the uh the ore placing it into the machine that's working very very nicely and if i put all of that in as well and then over here so if i grab those out and I don't need to grab any out of there. I can take them directly from the container. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to link this one up to here. So actually, I could probably do that now. Okay, so... If we have a look in here, we've now got both bars going in. That is really, really good. I, I love an automated system. I really, really do. These have backed up again. Why have they backed up? Oh, I don't understand you lot. Okay, everything else is working fine, so... Yeah, like, there's literally no problems with anything else. So what I'm going to do is put an inserter here. I'm going to put the single bit of belt there. Actually, if I put two there... No, not up and over, you stupid, stupid. 
There we go. So now if I run it from right there, you come all the way along. Is this going to work this time? Does the game have an issue with running multiple machines into a single smelter? Come on, please keep the line going. Grab, turn round. It won't feed it in. And I like that as well. Even if you place a conveyor belt and stuff over the top of plant matter, it picks it up automatically. There we go. We've got that curling round. Oh, I love it. I, I love how much of that is auto automated. Uh, let's go. I think I need to make some more. So is this going to work? I've managed to get a uh, belt to carry... Why is it not working? I think I found the problem with the smelters. They don't like it if there's material already in there. So you'll see how the iron one's working. Copper one's not. Once this has gone through all of the ore, then it'll start processing through. So we've got one more ingot to create. Wait, oh, it's doing it now. As soon as it gets low, it starts feeding it. So when you put ore in, it doesn't feed it anymore. It's a weird way for them to work. I believe they should work even if there's 200 in there. It should fill up to the cap of 250. But it is what it is. At least they are working. That was my main concern. And now the container, we've got over 100 of each ingot. So what I've had to do is actually place a, another smelter. Because I've got so much uh, iron ore that I just can't ever empty the machine. <laughs> so I've placed another one down and literally until these iron ingots are produced and then we will get rid of this extra smelter and i think we now have enough stuff required to move on to the next tier then yeah if, if we leave it here we come back and we will be able to go straight to the next tier and on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.